Welcome to Getting to the Point. It's a quick way to familiarize yourself with the world of pressure points and how they apply to your martial arts and health. Look at it as if it's a way to elevate your training with the study of Kyushu Jitsu and Tuate Jitsu. The content will be brief, but informative. So you can learn, retain, and focus on building your knowledge base and to give added value and enhance what you do today which is to become a well-rounded martial artist. The human anatomy is just a piece of this puzzle. Hello, I just want to talk a little bit about what I use for resources to study and understand Kyushu Jitsu and Chinese medicine. Understanding how that works gives us insight into how it can be applied to your martial arts training. You don't need to become an acupuncturist or an acupressurist to use the concepts to be effective with Kyushu Jitsu. Kyushu Jitsu is the ancient art of pressure point fighting. Literally, translate Kyushu means one second and Jitsu means fighting. So Kyushu Jitsu is one second fighting, <laughs> meaning that within the first second of a conflict, the control is in the hands of the Kyushu practitioner. Well, the first book that I bought back in the 80s was The Web That Has No Weaver, Understanding Chinese Medicine by Ted Kapchuk. This book is very detailed as far as the whole concept of Chinese medicine. And it was a little overwhelming at first, but it was a way for me to start or to learn the pressure points or how the meridians work. So this is a great introduction to Chinese medicine. This book that I have, Essential Anatomy of Healing and Martial Arts by Mark Tedeschi, is a very good resource. Uh, it has a lot of pitches, big blown up pitches in different parts of the meridians. It actually goes to the Western and Eastern medicine and also it has a section for healing and also martial arts training. So this is a great resource to have. And this is the one that I go to all the time. Well, the first Kyushu Jitsu book that I ever bought was The Dillman Method of Pressure Point Fighting. It was co-written with Chris Thomas, with George Dillman. And it's a great book for uh, an introductory level of Kyushu Jitsu. It's basic information and it kind of gets you started. It's almost like the training wheels of Kyushu Jitsu. This is the book to have. So the second book that I got was called Pressure Point Fighting Secrets of Ruku Kempo. This is an excellent resource. If you're interested in getting into pressure point fighting, this is the book to have, because this will have everything that you need to figure out how this all applies to your martial arts training. This is a great resource. This is the one, I mean, as you can see, I got tons of pages bookmarked, because in an instant, I want to get there, look at it, refresh myself with this information, and that's the way to go. So another book that I use in conjunction with the secrets of pressure point fighting in Ruku Kempo is this Advanced Pressure Point Grappling or Tuate. Tuate is basically uh, joint manipulation and it ties in nicely with the Q show. So the old adage is if you can get to a point, you can get to a joint. Or if you can get to a joint, you can get to a point. So they kind of tie in really nicely together. So that's the old school version of learning and trying to study and retain information. These days with the internet, basically you have everything at your fingertips that you can get and find anything. All these books I just showed you, I have on Kindle. Another one that I have is the first known book written about pressure points is the Babishi. This version is translated by Patrick McCarthy and you can get it on Amazon. YouTube's an excellent resource. Doman Karate International just uploaded a ton of videos and DVDs on lessons and seminars that he's done over the years. That's a great, great source of information. Other resources that I use is Pinterest. And I always get emails and notifications of all new stuff coming out on things that I'm interested in. Another resource I use is yingyanghouse.com and geneticacupuncture.com. Use all this information as a home study tool. You can learn anything that you want online. 
but it's not going to get you to the level that you need to be. So if I watch a video on how to cut hair, that doesn't mean I know how to cut hair. With practice, I could probably get to it, but who's willing to let me practice on them? So it's the same thing. Everything applies. But I tell you, these are all great resources, books, online, videos, so forth. The best resource that you can do for yourself is start working with a qualified instructor because that's how you're going to be able to learn and to understand in a safe environment. So I hope this helps you in your pursuit of pressure point fighting. I will list all this information in the description below. Until next point, get to it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Live Dandy. Every action has a reaction, and the reaction is your action.